Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, how are you all doing? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. We are here today with Vinland Saga episode one reaction. They released free at once and then they're gonna give it as then they're gonna give us a three week break, which I don't know whether I like or not. But folks, let's hop right in. Now I've been wanting to read the manga for years and years and years and I always told myself, yeah, one day, I'll get to it one day. Well, a good thing I didn't get to it one day, because now the anime is out. Also, if you see me sweating like mad, I don't know if you can see that, if you see me sweating like mad, it is absolutely warm, and I can't have my fan on, my, 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 my lovely fan, I can't have that on when I'm recording, so I, 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 I'll sweat for you lots, all right? Anyway, let's get started. Let me just make sure I'm right at the beginning. This will be on Amazon, perfect. Makes it all so much easier knowing that it's professional. Well, you'd assume professional fan subs. Regardless, folks, we're gonna get started in three, two, one. Uh, car? It's a Viking. It is apparently Vinland Saga. Oh, Vit, Vit Studio, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, what? Why is there a car in it? Isn't this supposed to be like a Norse myth? No, well, a, a, a Norse story. Vikings and shit. From what I know. Looks neato. Fours, okay. Fours, uh huh. Just, just add an S at the end. So, okay, so, so we just switched to a battle scene then, okay. Well, he's clearly a badass. He's clearly a badass. Oh, shit. Uh, what's that? Bruh. <laughs> what's that voice actor called? It always has the awesome role. I don't know his name right now. But he does like Blackbeard, friggin' Uvogin. Hjorungad. Love the art style. Love the art style. They so casual. Fun Floki approaches. Yo, I was making a Vikings joke. Uh, isn't that a bit risky? Just ju jumps. He's Mario. Fours. Oh, yeah. yeah, that is clean. Clean. <laughs> Looks clean. There are some. I know some people were fearful that it might turn into like a berserk situation. Clearly not. With like the war drums in the back. Boom, boom, boom. Hail. Hail to the king. <laughs> yeah, you done. Every person you defeat on a battlefield has a family, yeah? This guy's so calm. Ah. Uh. Even without a sword, he's clean. What now? I would be more worried about him if he if he showed emotions. Because he doesn't show emotion, I expect him to just like be like that badass that just takes care of everything easily. Well, he, he, all right. When I say don't show emotions, I mean like more than just a dejected, sad look. Yeah, he's bouncing. Well, swimming. That was that was nice. And that was nice. That was nice. That was very, very nice. We, obviously, we don't have a context yet or anything, but that was very, very nice. Dun, 
Dum, 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 dum. And the hail continues. Ah, I've been wanting to read this manga for so long. That yeah, it was the second I heard it, that it was an anime being announced. Well, the second that I ignore what I'm gonna say. I wanna listen to the opening. Not what I expected. This sounds kind of like new funk. Went wrong. Survive, said the prophet. Well, that guy's clearly the main character. <laughs> This is Nito. I'm assuming someone just died there, or is well buried. Buried. Well, I'm assuming tribe against tribe right now. Alright, I like the opening and I don't. It, it, it's strange, like, like from a musical standpoint. I like the opening and I don't. It'll probably grow on me in like five, six episodes. But as of right now, I like the first part, the second part not so much. Actually, I don't know. Now, I don't like the beginning of the first part and the ending of the second part. But like the middle I do like. That makes sense. That probably doesn't make sense at all. Ten oh two. Life was so tough back then. And like when you compare it, like w w with the. Uh, Things that we have now. Some may say simple. I would say it's more challenging. What was that? Was that okay? I was gonna say a crow. I'm not assuming that's a person. I'm assuming this is strictly based in fantasy reality. And what I mean by that is that like Fours, you'll have him like break the boundaries of what a normal human could possibly do but not go superhuman. The good old tails. Ah, oh, the water looks nice. All right. I'm assuming that person that we just saw, or that, and that speaking. I'm well. I'm assuming that's the same person that's speaking. I'm assuming that's Floki. Give me the name, because then I know whether you're Floki or not. Nope. Nope. Because I believe in history. F no, never mind. Leif Erikson. Heh <laughs> Alright. Oh boy. I 
They they probably butchered them. <laughs> they probably butchered them. They probably butchered them. They're hearing the stories, yeah? They're hearing the stories. Torfin. Force Helga Torfin. <laughs> That's why you should realize you shouldn't trust him. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> it's ten oh two, right? The the year is ten oh two. It's not it's not the eighteen hundred where you beat your kids. Back then you probably still beat them, but come on. <laughs> come on. Is that a slave? Based on the colour? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yelva. Y Yelva. Yelva. Oh, so is that? I'm, cause I'm assuming Torfin is the son of Thor's. You know that that just makes sense. And he was saying my father is a fighter. So uh, there are four people in the family. All right, yo. <laughs> All right, yo. Yeah, no, you're dreaming. Captain, captain. Yeah, uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> eh, eaten. Squished. Yeah, squished. How could you say that, no, bro? <laughs> Father still well can't yeah, they're still they're still awake. I thought maybe like he's sleeping while sitting. Alright, yo. <laughs> That's a great question. That's a great question. Life would be so much easier with one. Well, he seems to actually care about the people that he cut down. It's told she's... Yeah, alright. Yeah, but... Ha <laughs>
No body. What? Is it actually a body? Is it the guy from like yesterday? This. I was <laughs> bro. I, I was joking when I said a body. Uh, well, I think he might. That's that's not. No, that's no way. That's the end. Yeah, especially not cold. He's, I don't think he's just making it. I was joking, bro. A, a body. You're a young buck. Uh, he's gonna keep you safe. It's been a parent. What do you do in a situation like that? Uh, I'd eat the wood. I tried to eat the wood. Uh, the life of a sailor. Is he gonna make it? Oh, okay, he's still fine. I thought for sure he'd die out there with clothing like that. Buried in the snow. The fact that he was buried should mean that he's dead. Yeah, he's definitely. He has definitely been tortured and malnourished. Let him try. Let him try. I like him. I like him actually quite a lot. He he truly does care about human life. Yeah, that's that's a quality you don't really see that often. Yep. Harold. Did he unite? Yeah. King Harold. Okay. Okay, so your answer is this. Fair enough. No, I actually believe him. I actually believe him. Ah, kid. Kid. Kid, kid, kid. kid. Yeah. What can I say? I'm saying kid, 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 sarcastically, but actually he is a kid. There's a difference between retreating strategically. Yeah, he's long gone, but he's still trying... Yeah, like this guy is long gone. Even he, even she's given up. Everyone else has given up. Bruh! How on earth is he alive? He's gotta give like some crucial plot deal, like the, the king is coming here or something. No way. 
No. Yes, maybe yes. Hafton's household. Okay. Well. Well. What's the plan here? What's the plan here? <laughs> oh, this guy! <laughs> Alright! The, wa the, the wannabe... <laughs> the, the, the wannabe badass that talks... Th like, that, that just talks crap. Oh yeah, definitely. 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 With that deep voice too. The symbol. Calm down. <laughs> Bruh. Stop warring. You're lucky you're alive, bro. You're lucky you're alive in those times. Yeah, they're evenly mu Oh my, okay. Well, maybe he's not a wannabe badass. He might be an actual badass. Oh, good. I... F I... I thought he was a wannabe badass, he's an actual one! Bruh! Who uses a chi- To- It's gonna- Is that- No, okay, good. I thought it's gonna end here. I was almost certain it was gonna end there. That guy's not just a wannabe badass, he's an actual one. to the light nice There is a land called Vinland. Tolfin. Without slave traders and without war. Give him that hope. Give him that hope. Uh, here he is, isn't he? Yeah. Half done. Willie? Uh, 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 considering I'll pay I'll double it 
Uh, two sheep. This guy. Uh, uh, how? This is, this is a negotiation tactic. Exactly. Shut up. It's a negotiation tactic. Bruh! Your family's gonna starve to death, bro. I'm not gonna take it. I, you know what? I can respect him. I, I can fully respect them both, actually. I spoke to Sweet. He's not a wannabe badass. That is going to be like just a little tiny little obstacle in the way. He died. <laughs> yeah, you see, you see, that's the difference. She cries about the sheep, and he just—he's still worried about that. That's what they say. Uh, that's what they say. But, but, there has to be a but, right? That's, that's a giant ant. What's in there? What's in there? Why are they showing us that out of the blue? Dual sword. It does use two, well, actually, dag well, is that, is that dagger? Would, yeah, dual dagger. That was a very, very interesting first episode, I have to say. That's actually, how long is it? About a minute, okay. I, I don't expect there to be a preview for the next episode at the end. Ooh, I didn't realize it was interesting. I did, I did not realize it was doing the ending. The voice did sound familiar, but young Buck, you are yet to become the protagonist of this story. Pause it right here. Well, what can I say besides that was a very, very good first episode? Um, tell me the story, right? Tell me the story. We got to know a bunch of characters. Uh, with the main character being, I'm assuming, 
yeah, I'm assuming Torfin is the main character. The way I think it's going to go down is that... Uh, it, how old does he look? Right now, he looks maybe like 8-ish, 7, 8-ish. With his sister being like 14, 15, maybe 16-ish. Uh, and I'm assuming in the opening he is... I, I don't think he's past 20. I think in the opening, in the ending, when he actually has the two uh, daggers, you know, two tiny blades... Uh, I think he's give or take, let's say, 16, 17. I don't think quite 18, but like 15 to like 17, all right? Actually, well, let's turn that on. It's nice and cool. Nice and cold. But let's say he's like roughly 17. So ultimately, we'll have like a... Oh, 10 years at most... But probably anywhere from like five years to maybe like eight year time skip. That's what I'm assuming right now. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see like what's going to happen with his father, Taurus, um, his mother, Helga, his sister, Yulit, I believe. Yulit, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Yulit. Uh, Yulit. Um, his father is a very interesting character, actually, when you think about it, considering that he is a fighter. He seems to be a very, very, very good fighter, but he really, truly does care about people. Um, like, like it seems like he values life, which is very, very unique for people in that era, you feel like, because, you know, back then they were always at war, they were always raiding, um, you know, and that would involve sacrificing lives. Uh, well, not sacrificing, but that would involve um, killing people, you know, you know, destroying lives and whatnot, and obviously the Vikings were known to be quite brutal as well as have quite brutal games. You know, you know they had games where you you'd shoot with an arrow just to see where you can hit somebody, and you know if you hit them they die. If, if you don't hit them, well then you just suck. These kind of games where, you, where nowadays you just be like, uh, what? But, uh, but back then it was like very common for them because they were you know if you die in battle. You're giving honor to your god. That's that's pretty much what it was for them. So, I'm very very intrigued actually. Um, obviously we have half done up here. A chain with, with a chain, just man, you know. Well, I was gonna say manipulating a chain, but I was thinking of something else now. But uh, use, him using a chain, um, very very effectively. Like he actually seemed like someone that isn't just all talk. Like I, I Perhaps that wasn't the case, but I got a vibe that uh, he actually cares about. Or he, well, he res I should say he respects Thor's. And you would assume that you know, if they constantly fight, I don't know who the main person of that village is, but uh, let's just say it is Thor's, just for argument's sake, right? Um, and, and like if he and half done go up against each other under regular, um, then yeah, yeah, the kind of like the mutual respect that you have, you know, if you like your peers uh, and your rivals. I, I feel like that's kind of what it is, like a mutual respect between the two, and that's why when he saw how strongly Fors cared about the slave, um, yeah, he still took the deal. Let's, let's not kill ourselves. He still took the eight sheep, but you know, he. he he, res he understood that it wasn't, you know, for the purpose of him. Well, that, that it was for the purpose of him trying to save him and, and trying to spare him rather than actually owning a slave. So I actually like that kind of relationship, that mutual kind of respect relationship. It's always a very nice one. And um, obviously, we'll see where it goes from here. Um, obviously, we have, s well, we have some law about what may be happening somewhere else. Um, Harold, obviously, probably the most, f the, the most famous. Mm, all right, maybe not exactly the most famous, but one of the most. Yeah, I would, I would go as far as say the most famous Viking in history. Um, besides maybe like Ivar the Boneless, but Harold, you know, King Harold of all of Norway. You know, that being very historically accurate you know them reproducing us here it's very in, in, insane actually how much like watching vikings the tv show vikings and how much like my research that i've done on um north mythology when i was doing research for a book uh, how much that actually no, not just north mythology but like the vikings in of itself the viking area in of itself how much that is actually how much that actually plays a part you know because 
We have a slave show up in the early episodes, in this case in the first episode. I'm, I'm trying to make a comparison here between this show and Viking so far. Um, we have a son of Thor's. Thor's. So, so, so there's a lot, there's a lot of like little parallels like that I, I, I picked up like immediately, but that's not the point here. Overall, episode one, very, very nice. Um, I thought it was very enjoyable. I think the production has was top notch. The music, I, I really like, like it, the drums. You know, the I really like that because you know back then on battle drums, dun 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 dun, and especially for sailors, you know, you always have like songs, sea chanties, so that like, like, like you'd be rowing at a rhythm to like get you know get the maximum out of it. So that's why we have like for example a famous drunk sailing tune like what shall we do with a drunken sailor, you know. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? What shall we do with a drunken sailor? Uh, just so, so, so all the people are in rhythm when they're rowing the boat. Uh, yeah. And, and then using like drums and snares uh, for the OST and piano that's been playing the whole time whenever they're showing something more beautiful. I really, really like that aspect of it. I really, really like an aspect of that, like of a show. Personally, I'm a huge fan of the piano. Shock. Um, but I also always like when they use drums in a very effective way, and in this case they use it in a very effective way, so First episode impressions are very very good. I will definitely be continuing with this uh, later on today uh, I will be doing episode 2 and then episode 3 and I will see you all later on today until then everyone peace out and Have a nice day